Hi guys, Josh from TT101. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about magazines and how many magazines you should be stocking up on per rifle or handgun. Uh, so going forward, as you see I have 10 P mags on my table here and uh, they are still in their packaging. I have that them in the packaging if you watch my, uh, my AR-15 magazine video. In that video, I talk about how I bought these as strictly just an investment. I don't plan on actually taking those out of the wrappers. I want to maybe potentially sell them someday. Um, there's guys that knock guys on YouTube for stocking up on items that are related to guns uh, to eventually sell them for profit. But that's just the way the world works, guys. I mean... Uh, I mean, lower receivers, stuff like that, that's all an investment. And I always also talk about, especially the lower receivers in uh, my guns to buy before a gun ban video, which has actually taken off quite well. Uh, that video right now has a little over 9,000 views, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, enough said about that. But uh, going forward here, I also have my C Products magazines, the metal AR-15 magazines. Those are my favorite by far out of any magazine. If you have a metal magazine, you can always rebuild the magazine if uh, your magazine spring wears out or the follower wears out. As long as you have a good solid shell, you can always rebuild it and reuse it. Um, now granted, if there was a ban on high capacity magazines, yes, it might be a little more pricey to buy uh, the parts to rebuild them, but as long as you have the shell, I mean, I I've seen guys uh, during crises or scares uh, related to guns just selling shells of uh, AR mags for like a hundred dollars so that's crazy but anyways <laughs> um, also on my table here I have a hex mag that's in the center and that is gonna be the only hex mag that I have but I really like that the hex mags they seem to work very well uh, along with the C products magazines and if you were gonna, gonna buy any AR mags I'd buy the P mags the C products magazines the stainless steel ones that I have and then the he uh, the hex mags because those just seem to work in most platforms of uh, uh, AR platforms so uh, going forward I also have 10 BX 25 magazines on the table uh, Interestingly enough, I actually receive those for free from Ruger. Ruger every year, they do what it's called the Ruger Points Program. And it's basically an incentive for the gun salesmen that are on the floor, um, the, the sales floor, to basically sell more of their firearms uh, during a certain time of the year. And uh, I didn't really stress on trying to sell Rugers uh, uh, any more than I usually would. I just kind of just sold guns as I usually would. And I happened to receive 10 free magazines, so I thought that was pretty nice. And I also received this Ruger marked CRKT knife, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, I looked up the MSRP on this uh, on this knife here, and it was actually, I think, 89 or $90. So I thought that was pretty nice of them to send me that. And uh, yeah. And then I have also my Glock magazines. I have four of the 33 round G18 Glock 17 magazines. Uh, and then I also have six of the standard 17 round magazines. So that comes out to 10. And I have 10 at least 10 as far as uh, the a a AR mags go. I have 20 of those. Well, 22. I don't have another P mag that I have uh, at work on the table here. But um, yeah, and where I'm pulling most of this information from f as, far as, uh, as far as how many magazines you should have per gun, um, especially related to AR mags, if you, I have some buddies that are in the military, and most of them, a standard loadout is going to be anywhere from 7 to 10 magazines. And uh, a lot of times I've heard from my buddies, they, they've said that 7 ends up being a little bit too less if you get in an extended firefight. So most of them actually carry 10 magazines. That's a quite a bit of ammunition. And yes, that'll weigh you down, but I guess in their eyes, it just uh, is, a better, um, is better in the long run if you ever were in a really tight, tight spot and you needed some more ammo. So that's where I'm pulling this 10, round, uh, 10 magazines per, gu uh, per gun uh, from. And uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's been a lot of videos regarding this on YouTube, but I figured I'd just tell you guys uh, my opinion on this. And uh, as always, I appreciate my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more interesting videos. Take care, guys.